Is it possible to learn a language in just seven days? Is it possible to become fluent? Will I just go crazy in a week? We found out this week because I learned Spanish for seven days. It's been a while since I've been in school, but I am no stranger to studying. So I'm gonna walk you through the process of what my learning journey was like and also the techniques that I use. Also, I should note that I did study Spanish way back in middle school, but that was over 10 years ago. And I don't really remember much from it. So I mostly studied from a textbook in school which is pretty known to be not a very effective way to learn a new language. So I was very interested to see how some newfound techniques could be utilized to learn a language more effectively. First things first, on day one, I found a list of the most common vocab words used in Spanish. We're playing off the 80-20 principle. It's been known that a small number of high frequency words or phrases can account for a large percentage of the words used in a language. It's estimated that the most common a thousand words in a given language can account for 80% percent of the spoken and written vocab in that language. So if I just memorize this list, I should be able to effectively communicate with just this vocab. This list includes things such as numbers, the days of the week, daily household items, basically the same words are used over and over again. I wanted to get speaking as quickly as possible. This week, I used a platform called Lingoda to help with this. Lingoda is an online language school where students take live lessons in small groups of maximum five students led by a professional teacher. They offer classes for both complete beginner to advanced level students and classes are offered 24 seven. I logged into my first lesson. It wasn't so good. No. I was literally thrown right into the hot water. El 54, Kaisi. Kaisi. Como? No. Cual? Cual. You can tell I'm struggling, and day one's not the best start. But needless to say, I was seeing some words from my classes. There were words that I didn't know. I was also adding those to my list as well. In clear transparency, Lingoda is the sponsor of this video. But y'all have been wanting me to learn a language for a very long time now. And with any challenge I do, you can see that I always find a platform or a coach to help me. Lingoda was referred to me, and I've only heard good things about them. Even on this first date, I really liked how they do throw you into the hot water and get you started speaking day one. On day two, in addition to these vocab words, I was adding common phrases and also common verb conjugation. I figured in the same vein as vocab words appearing over and over, the same common phrases going to come up over and over again too. I was noticing that many sentences and many sentence structures were similar or literally exactly the same. Also, I was circling words that I felt were more specific to me. For instance, I would circle soccer because I play soccer and maybe I wouldn't circle taxi driver because I'm in Texas right now and there's no taxis. I was still memorizing everything. I was just putting more of an emphasis on the words that were more specific to me. Second lesson was a lot better. Me gustaría ir siempre con verbo en infinitivo. ¿Tú tocas algún instrumento? Me toco piano. La Pronunciation okay. is okay. not easy for somebody who has very much of a just an American American accent. Is that even a thing? The best thing to combat pronunciation worries is practice. On day three, I was practicing speaking on my own. Best way to actually practice is through a concept called immersion. Immersion means to hear, speak, and learn a language in an authentic, everyday context and experiencing it in your familiar surroundings. Immersion is an effective way to learn a new language because it basically allows you to be surrounded by the language and culture, which can help you pick up the language more naturally and quickly. That's why you see so many people studying abroad or say that they improve their Spanish when they actually live in a Spanish-speaking country. You are literally exposed to the language all the time, whether or not you remember the name for uh, bathroom or uh, I'm allergic. Whether you like it or not, you're forced to learn quickly because there's immediate ramifications. However, for this week, since I'm not able to go to a Spanish-speaking country, that's where the online classes are so helpful because they offer a taste of this. And supplementally, the next best thing I could do was literally bombard myself with all the Spanish content that I could. This included watching Spanish movies, listening to Spanish podcasts, reading the Spanish news. Ah, I know that word. Volver a trabajar en mi vida. To not return to work in my life. Basically exposing me to the language. Honestly, I feel like I dreamed in Spanish last night. By day four, I felt like I was learning a ton, but I was also getting kind of tired. One of the most common things that I've heard people struggle with is motivation. 
hard to stay motivated to continue something after the beginning high and your brain hurts because you keep forgetting the difference between pedo and pedro. Lingoda actually offers a really unique learning challenge called a sprint where you commit to either taking 15 or 30 classes per month for two months. And if you attend all the lessons, you win 50 or 100% cash back. It's a great way to stay on track with your goals and also just continuing in your learning journey. However, the other students get one to two months to do this and I am trying to do this all in seven days. My brain is fried. At this point, I had basically memorized all the vocab and I felt a lot better during my lessons. Cuatro. Viven usted en Colombia? Perfecto, muy bien. ¿Cómo te sientes en el trabajo? Me siento cansada. <laughs> Trabajo, me siento cansada. Muy bien, que una oración, por favor. Cocino empeñadas. Este verbo, ¿en qué termina? Comer. Una oración. Uh, yo como mis empeñadas. Yo como mis empanadas. Ok, perfecto. <laughs> I was home for the holidays when I did the challenge. Sharing my experience with my parents. Tengo hambre. Yo estudio español por cuatro horas. No, dos horas. <laughs> In the remaining days, I was just going over these things over and over again. Vocab, basic phrases and expressions, conversational skills, rehearsing myself as much as possible. I kept studying, repeating, studying, repeating. My brain was literally melting open. It was time for the final conversation. Hola. Hola. ¿Cómo te llamas? Me llamo Kaisi. ¿Cómo estás? Bien, gracias. ¿Y tú? Eh, estoy muy bien. Es eh, un gusto conocerte. Igualmente. Este tienes descendencia latina, descendencia hispana. No. ¿De dónde eres? Soy de Estados Unidos y vivo en los Estados Unidos también. ¿Qué idiomas ya hablas? Hablo dos idiomas, coreano y inglés. Un poco de español. Eh, ¿Cuánto tiempo llevas estudiando español? Estudio por una semana. Ok, pero eh. es muy bueno, la verdad se entiende bastante bien. Gracias. ¿Y por cómo así hablas tan bien español? Quiero aprender español porque quiero visitar España y Argentina. Argentina tiene Messi y me gusta mucho. Me gusta mucho. ¿Viste sí. la Copa Mundial? Sí, sí. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo así coreano? ¿Qué te motivó a estudiar coreano? Soy coreano. Mis padres. <risa> ¿Son coreanos? Sí, sí. Okay, ¿Qué te gusta hacer para divertirte, para entretenerte? Tengo muchos pasatiempos, pero mi favorita me gusta jugar fútbol y practicar artes marciales. Interesante. ¿Fútbol americano o fútbol soccer? Ah, fútbol soccer. ¿Tú tienes pasatiempos? Pasatiempos, sí. Sí, me tengo pasatiempos. Me gusta el gimnasio, me gusta leer. Eh, ¿Qué más te ha costado aprender? ¿Qué ha sido más difícil aprender para ti? Yo aprendí muy tarde por un mes. Fue difícil porque me golpearon mucho en mi cara. Oh, ¿y el face? Sí. Planes para hoy? Normalmente yo trabajo más, no, pero... Noche. Sí, pero voy a dormir temprano. Estoy cansada. Ok, you're, you're really good Spanish. Habla, habla bastante bien, de verdad. Muy, muy buen español. Gracias. Eh, entonces, qué gusto verte hoy. Hasta luego. <laughs> that was so nerve-wracking. No, it's perfecto. That wasn't perfect, but... Uh, so to return to the bad. initial question, is it possible to learn a language in just seven days? I would have to say the answer is yeah. It depends. It depends on your definition of fluency. 
Does it mean being able to hold yourself in a conversation with a stranger? Then yes. But if it means understanding the depth and nuances of a language and its culture, I think that's slightly harder. But what I do know, with an effective learning strategy that's personal to you and a lot of hard work, even in seven days, you can accomplish a lot and start speaking effectively. Do I think more days will help? Yes. Do I think my past helped? Yes. But I specifically designed this week to be a very effective language learning journey. Okay. That's how I learned. Those are the techniques I use. But I have a confession to make. Language learning has never been high on my list of skills that I wanted to learn. I'm already bilingual and I've never really felt the need to learn another language. But it was really cool to see all these people from all over the world learning Spanish as well. They were there for reasons such as one person wanted to go travel, another person wanted to become better at speaking with their friends. One woman wanted to speak with her grandma. Everyone was there for an intrinsic love of learning and want to become better at something. I don't know, I just personally found that really inspiring. Even though this week was very tough, I unexpectedly had a blast. As I was learning, it felt like this whole new world was opening up, not only in terms of increasing my language skills, but also in terms of cultural understanding, opening up new ways to think about different concepts. I remember back in school, I studied for the end goal of getting a good grade. But this week, I was once again reminded of this intrinsic love of learning, amazing feeling of expanding my horizons, both literally and figuratively. I would love to learn another language in the future. Which one should I do next? That's it for the video. As always, hope you learned something. Check out this video for another one of my learning challenges and subscribe to keep up to date to whatever I am learning next. Adios. Como se llama? Yama.